Hello everybody. It has been a while since I did a makeup video, so I figured I would do one today. Um, I have gotten some new stuff. I'm not sure if I talked about my last video. I know it's been a while um, and I can't really remember. We've had a lot happening and going on um, between three kids and three different sports, traveling, holidays. It's been crazy. So um, anyways, I just wanted to jump on and do a makeup video and then I'll show you guys what I've been using lately that I think I'm pretty set on what I have because I've really been loving all this stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to jump in and show you what I've been using. So I did already put a um, moisturizer on my skin. The one that I've been using and absolutely loving is just this, um, hydro boost gel from Neutrogena. It's like, I don't know, like $10 or something. And as you can see, I use it so much. I am like almost out, but I love this stuff. I use this, <clears throat> excuse me, in the morning, um, before I put my makeup on. Or um, just, I try to, if I'm not wearing makeup as well every day, to just put it on my face to keep my skin hydrated because it gets really dry. And um, it's actually been doing a lot better lately and not been so dry. So I use this in the daytime. And then I also, they do make the nighttime one. And um, it's all uh, hyaluronic acid in these. So they're like really good for your skin. And I'm obsessed with that. And this one I just got recently. And this one's more of like a um, not so like liquidy, I guess. It's a little bit more firm. So I love this one. They're not super strong scented. So um, if you have an issue with that, these will be perfect for you. And they're super cheap. I got these, <clears throat> um, I think, at Ulta or Target. Um, either one, they're like around $10 to $11 a piece. So great deal for these. And I really love these. So. I've already used, like I said, the moisturizer, so I'm going to use my cute little headband that I got so I can kind of pull my hair back and then um, do my makeup. So I love these. I got these at Miss A in Grapevine, Texas. Um, you know, they're like, they have the cutest little accessories and I love it. So anyways, I'm going to start with my primer first. I've still been using the Smashbox Photo Finish. I love this. Um, they were like buy one, get one for like the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. And so I bought two <clears throat> and I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to put a little bit on. Um, so I know it's been a while, but I think my last video I talked about uh, waiting to see uh, what sport Axel was going to get into. And now I said that Madison is um, doing really well with her softball and Haley's loving her gymnastics. So um, we were waiting to see what Axel was going to get into. And he actually started basketball and he loves it. He's been doing so well. He had his first game last Sunday and he actually got um, MVP of the game. He did really well. His team works really well together and... This is all new to us because we've always been like baseball, softball growing up. Um, so we don't know all the all the rules or whatever, but we've been learning and it's been really good. His coach is really good with the kids. It's all nine and ten year old boys. Um, <clears throat> there's ten boys on the team and they are loving it. So they had their first game last Sunday. They have um, games every Sunday. So he'll have one this weekend and then practice he has on Tuesday nights and Saturday mornings. And then, um, excuse me, <laughs> we're looking at getting him into like, not so much like a private coach, but I want to get like a high school varsity player in, you know, the local high school to kind of work with him for like maybe like a half hour to an hour a week and help him with his skills a little bit more with that. But he's been loving it. He's been doing really, really well. So we're excited to see um, him keep progressing in this. So anyways... The foundation that I'm going to use is just the uh, Tarte Face Tape. I love this stuff. This shade is um, medium neutral. I have this shade and then I have, I think it is light medium neutral. Yeah, light medium neutral. Um, <clears throat> right now, this is still matching my skin pretty well as we really didn't go that much this summer to the lake. So I really didn't get like a dark, dark tan. Um, 
but for right now this color is still working very well instead of using the lighter one. So and I just have my um, M6 brush from Morphe. I love Morphe brushes. Like I was using the It Cosmetics brush, but I decided not to use that anymore. Um, just because they're super expensive and the Morphe brushes work just as well. So I always blend this on my neck first for whatever reason. That's my new technique. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and put, you know, dab it all around my face. And it looks a lot lighter. I don't know what it is about this lighting, but I promise you it's not um it's not that light on my face. So um anyway, so holidays are coming up and we're super excited. We did like a big family gift this year, as opposed to like a bunch of individual gifts for the kids. I mean, we got them stuff also, but we went more so with like a family gift, uh, which was new bikes. We got everybody uh, brand new mountain bikes, all five of us. So we love bike riding and being outdoors. The kids love going on bike rides. Um, we've got some trails that go from our house all the way down to the beach. It's like, I think it's like, between 27 and 30 miles to get from our house to the beach, I believe it is. Maybe a little bit more. I don't know. That might sound wrong. But um, anyways, the kids love it. We've done 13 miles in and 13 back. So um, they love that. So we were super stoked to be able to get them um, new bikes this year. And... Um, we're going to give it to them before Christmas. So that way we can go on a bike ride like the whole week of Christmas. And that'll be super fun. But as far as like individual gifts, um, like I said, Maddie is 13 and a half. Haley is 11 and a half. And Axel is, he'll be um, 10 in February. So the girls are at an age where it's like, they're almost there for gift cards, but not quite fully because you still want to get them a present. Like they still want to open stuff besides like a gift card. Um, so we struggled with that this year, um, big time because, um, they're just difficult to shop for at that age. And I don't know, you know, what, what to get them. So, um, I think we figured it out though. Like, I'm not going to say it cause the girls do watch the channel. <laughs> so, um, I'm not going to say what we got anybody presents besides the bikes cause all the kids already know that. Um, anyways, real quick, this is the, um, Shape Tape Press Powder in Light Medium Sand that I'm going to put my, um, powder on next. But, um, yeah, so we, I went shopping, I went to the mall today to get, um, some more gifts. So I think we did okay, um, with getting things for the kids. So, um, anyways. Besides that, it was real rainy here yesterday, so I didn't, I was supposed to go yesterday and get gifts, but I didn't, but I got him today, so that's guys have to finish up with Axel's because he was with me and I could not obviously go get, um, get him gifts when he was with me. So, um, I'll have to finish that up this week, but I, I want to get it done, you know, cause everybody, it's like at the malls and everything. And we don't have a mall that's like super close. It's like 20, 25 minutes away. Um, so it's a pain in the butt because the area that we live in, the traffic is just ridiculous. Like it'll take us, we live like a mile and a half from the freeway on ramp and it takes us sometimes two hours in like heavy peak hours just to get to the freeway. That doesn't include getting on the freeway and all that. So, um, it will take me, like, I think I went today at, like, 1 o'clock, and it was not bad. It took me, like, a half hour, 40 minutes to get there. Uh, if I would have went any time after that, especially on a Friday, probably would have taken me about an hour and a half. And I don't want to sit there in the car for an hour and a half. That's crazy to me. So, anyways, I lost my train of thought. But that's that's what's going on. So, um, I'm pretty much done besides getting Axel some stuff and, like, a couple more small things for, like, um my parents and then, um, Chris's dad and stuff. So anyways, after I put on my powder, I <clears throat> really been loving, um, actually I'll do this after. Let me do my eyebrows first. Now you guys know I suck at eyebrows and I have my little mirror right here next to me 
so I can use that. Um, but I suck at them. So I'm just going to look down in the mirror right now and try to get them even. The eyebrow pencil that I use is just the um, Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. I love it. This color, I think, is just medium brown. I thought it was taupe, but it's not. So this one is medium brown. I know like everybody like brushes their eyebrows up and everything. Sometimes I spoolie them, most of the time not. Um, just for sake of the video right now, I'm going to spoolie them. But um, this is super thin. Like I said before, I like the precision with it. So what I do is, I know this is going to be kind of hard, so I'll put it like right under. I just go ahead and line, you know, lightly across the bottom. And I like stop right there. That way... I can make my, you know, arch and all that stuff. So do the bottom and then I do the top like so, and then <clears throat> make the bottom come down to it. So, and then I just finish it off at the ends and that is that and I you know I suck at them so making them like lighter in the front I can't I can't do it I don't have the skill to do it so there we go there's one I'm going to do the other one now just lightly over here and I have like the sparsest eyebrows you guys like I'm naturally really really blonde like as I've gotten older it's kind of like gotten darker like my natural color but still like I don't have like any eyebrows and Axel's like that too and it sucks like because his hair is so blonde um that you like can't even see his eyebrows half the time and he like gets upset sometimes like he doesn't have any I'm like you have them they're just very light but he doesn't like when people say that or when I say it specifically um but you know it's the truth and Sorry, you were, you know, born like that. I can't help it. Okay. So, and I don't know if they fully match or whatever, but that's what we're going with. To, actually, this one looks a lot lighter, huh? So I'm just going to color it in a little bit more. There. Okay. So have my eyebrows done. And then <clears throat> a lot of people go in with their <clears throat> concealer before their powder. For some reason, I don't like to do that. I always do it after. So I have the, of course, Tarte Shape Tape um, that I don't need anymore. This color is um, Light Medium Honey. And seriously, I'm just going to put a little bit under my eye, a little bit on top, on my chin, tip of my nose, and that's it. And that's what I do again there's I'm probably doing it the wrong way but this is the way that works for me that I like take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend it on um and that's that so anyways if you guys have ideas on um Christmas presents for teenage girls, let me know because it's so hard to shop for them. I don't remember it being that hard. I mean, I guess like times have changed obviously, but I don't remember like wanting some of the things that like the kids nowadays want. Obviously they have more technology, but like I just felt like getting like clothes was super exciting to me because everybody wanted new clothes all the time. And not so much toys, obviously, because all of our kids are too old for toys. Even Axel, he's past that toy stage. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know, definitely. And I'm just going to blend on top. Get that all blended nicely. Other eye. So, anyways, I'm going to do a Christmas dinner for, like, my parents and Chris's dad to come over. And we're going to play some games and just have fun. I'm going to make a prime rib, which we love. Um, and I always end up buying like this huge prime rib and it's always like so much leftovers. But I can never guess because there's days that like 
the kids can eat like as much as like Chris or I, and then there's days that like they are like birds. So I always suck at like guessing how like what size, like how many bones to buy. Like they're saying like two people per bone, I guess, but that doesn't always work for us because we eat a lot and you know, you got to do what you got to do. So I'll probably end up buying like this huge, like, I don't know, five bone prime rib and have leftovers for days. But <clears throat> anyways, whatever. So once I do that, the new thing that I found, I don't know if I told this before, this is the Glow and Get It from Tula. It is a eye brightening stick for underneath. It's like a cooling and brightening. You can use it with makeup or without. Um, you can put it on before or after is what I mean, I guess. And then I just like pat it on and no smell to this. And it like brightens up so my bags will like go away a little bit. But it's very refreshing to have on your face and I really love it. So use that. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to put on blush. I love this ColourPop Sticks blush. Um, the color is Cool It, I guess. It's like, I think they're like six or eight dollars at, um, at Ulta. I love them. It's so easy. Like, the powder blushes, for some reason, I don't like them. They don't stay on as long. This does. And I just pull it down like that. That's it, you guys. Down, little circle. And like, you know, you can wear as much as you want, obviously. But that's what I do. And then, of course, I blend it in. So I don't look like a clown with like these red, red, red cheeks, but, um, or pink, but, um, this is a really, really nice creamy blush and I really, really love it compared to like, like I said, the powders or to the other like gel blushes or whatever. I, I don't know. I just don't like them. I'm really picky. I don't know why, but I am. So anyways. So I'll rub that in so that's nice and done. And the girls, I also, um, they also use this. Um, I don't think they have their own yet, but like Haley wanted to use it when we were away for Thanksgiving and she loved it and she is a lot lighter toned than I am. Um, but it wasn't too much on hers either. So this works for like any skin tone. I love it. So blush, eyebrows, the only thing I have to do left is my lips and eyes. So for my mascara, I did a haul that I went to Ulta and TikTok made me buy it. This, you guys, this Essence Lash Princess, $5, the best mascara I have ever used. Like I'm obsessed with this and I have two. I have just like the false lash and then this one is the um, curl and volume one. And then I also bought the um, primer. So all of these are like $5 a piece and they're the best mascara I've ever used. I'm obsessed. So I'm going to bring in my little mirror and I'm just going to um, curl my eyelashes um, just to make sure that I get like that you know, that false lash, lash effect. Cause I have like really thin, short, blonde eyelashes. <laughs> so, and you know, it's like, it's almost like you can't even like see them. Like even if I put mascara on, they're not long and give me the curl, but this does. Like I've tried so many other ones like Mac, Unique, Benefit. And I was obsessed with the Unique one. And then I found the Benefit and I was obsessed with that. And then I found this. Someone showed me on TikTok and I was like, no way. And I tried it and now this bullet out of the water. Not $25 mascara anymore. It's five. And it's perfect. So curl my eyelashes. Going to use the primer. Um, get that on. And this routine, you guys, like I said before, this takes is taking me oh, like you know, 20 minutes already. And normally, uh, I can put my makeup on in less than 10 minutes. And I love that because I am not high maintenance at all. 
actually high maintenance girls kind of bug me not gonna lie because it's annoying like I hate that like you have to wait forever to get ready and it drives me nuts <clears throat> so I'm gonna use the uh, curl and volume one today and here we go. but yeah so I hate like taking a long time to get ready Chris does not like you know waiting around or whatever um, for me to get ready and I hate it too so and when you have kids you want to be able to like get ready quick I don't know how these moms do it that like seriously can sit there and spend like 20 minutes on their um like eyes just alone on all their eye makeup and stuff and I'm like how do you do that like what what do you do and even though you know our kids are older they're like I said 11 13 and 9 I I don't know I still like Axel right now he's He's good. He's um, playing his iPad, but normally, like, I can't do it. Like, even when he goes to school in the morning to, like, come back from taking him and then have the time alone, it's like, no, I want to get the house cleaned up. Um, I want to be able to do my, all my errands that I have to do. And then I want to have time to sit down and watch, like, a little bit of, like, my shows that I like um, before it's time to go pick him up. And I feel like... I never have enough time, like the grocery store or whatever it is. You can hear um, Francine barking. She's driving me crazy lately. But um, yeah, so I don't, I don't have that time. I don't really, I wouldn't even want to spend that time if I had it. I don't know how people do that. And like, if you're one of those girls, more power to you that you have that time and stuff. But I just can't do it. There's like no way I would be able to do that. I don't have the patience to do that. I have told you guys, like, I'm like, well, this is as good as it's going to get, and that's the end of it. Like, even when it comes to taking pictures of the kids, like, when we go do something, I will take the picture, like, once, and I'm like, everybody, look, and if we get to the point to where I go to, like, look at the picture after we're done, like, I don't sit there and look at the picture after I take it, you know? I'm like, no, like, I'll just look at it later. Oops. Um, but like those people that like take a picture, it's like, no, I don't like that one. Let me retake it. Can't do it. Like I sent, I think I sent my father-in-law a picture of the kids. Like we went to like a ghost town and I think Axel's like, like that in the picture, you know, and like both the girls are looking smiling and I'm like, oh, well, that's the mood he was in that day. That's the way the picture goes. Like I really, I don't care. I think that you know, the people that have to have like perfection in their photos, that's great for them. But to me, it's like, I want it to be more, you know, personally, like real about how our life is and how our kids are. And they give me little stinks, all of them. I mean, even I can be and Chris can be too. So we, I'm like excited if everybody's facing the camera, not even, I don't even care if everybody's smiling. I mean, there's, like I said, there's been several times that it's like, why, why does one of the kids look like they're, you know, having to go to the bathroom? And I'm like, like, I have to go take a big poop or something. I'm like, well, that's how they were feeling that day. So whatever. But see what I mean about this mascara, you guys? Like, I love it. Like, you can actually see that I have eyelashes. Um, I'll lean in and show you guys in a second. But, um, yeah, I love it. Like, see, it's perfect and it's $5. You guys, if you have the chance to get this and I don't know if anybody else sells it. I know that Ulta sells it cause that's where I bought mine. So, um, maybe Target might sell it. Um, I don't know, but definitely check. It's called Essence. You guys, only $5. So got mascara on <clears throat> a lot of the time I'll just go like this and that's it. Like I'm not going to put like a bunch of eyeshadow on. Sometimes I will very quickly and just be done with it. But most of the time, no. So once I do all that, um, I do have this lip liner that I love. Um, it's by revolution makeup. This color is, um, chauffeur I guess 
I have to sharpen it. I guess chauffeur. Um, but I love it. It's like a cream almost. Um, it, this one's very nude on my lips. Let's see if I can do. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> um, very nude, like very sim, not nude, but very similar to my lip color. So you probably won't be able to see. Uh, hang on. But. Um, I put that on and then I'll just go like that. I know I don't care what anybody else says. This is me. That's how I do it. My favorite lipstick. This is Maybelline. This color is Rosy Wrist. I love it. I am not a fan of bright colors. This is like a uh, lighter, I don't know, maybe purplish color or something. But I love it. So... That's it. No lipstick on the teeth, right? And that's it. That's seriously like my whole makeup routine. And besides, of course, my Morphe um, Luminous Setting Spray, this comes on and that's it. That's it. So now I'm done. Makeup is done. And I'm ready for the day. And also why I have you guys um so my hair I <clears throat> let's see I usually like let it dry um almost all the way let's see if I can check this the back but I just got like these cute layers cut um like a couple weeks ago but I usually like let it dry all the way almost all the way like 80 90 percent before I um, start drying it with my blow dryer, or I'll use a regular blow dryer, get all the water out, dry it almost all the way, and then I go over here to my absolute favorite friend. I know, let's see if I can turn you guys. So my little station, I use my um, Revlon. This is like the ceramic one, the blow dryer, the round brush one. I had the regular pink and black one, I loved it but I needed a new one. I had that one for like a year and a half. And so I got this one recently. I love it. Um, <clears throat> I got it at Sam's club. So I, sorry, I'm turning you guys back. I love Sam's. It is like my saving grace for everything. And the hair products that I love, love, love to use are all Kenra. So let me pull them out. So these are the ones that I have. So when I first, um, before I even put any heat on my hair, any blow dryer, there's a fuzzy around, I use <clears throat> the blow dry spray. Sorry, that, that's metallic. So, um, but it's just a spray. I love the smell of it. I use this. So it's a heat protectant. That's my first step. Um, if I just, I just bought this, but this is an air dry cream. So if I don't, um, have time to dry my hair or anything, I will use this, but I haven't tried it yet. But anything Kenra, I'm obsessed with. So I'll try this soon. Um, and then I do, I have used the root lifting spray. I love this. It does give me lots of volume. As you can see right now, um, I just use the blow dryer, the round brush. That's it. Like I didn't have, I didn't use the root spray or anything else on my hair and I love it. Like this just gives me so much lift on my hair with using um, that blow dryer. And then I do have this silkening mist that I love to use that I just, i show you, spray on my hair, kind of gives me a shine to it, kind of helps my layers be a little more prominent. And then I have the hairspray. So this is just the medium hold. Um, and I will use this like just at the very top of little spritz because I hate crunchy hair. So and that's it. So I don't like when it gets like re wet or whatever because I have, like I said, like wavy curly hair and then it looks like wavy up there and I don't like that. So why spend all that time blow drying your hair when you're just going to ruin it with wetting it or getting a product on it? So anyways, that's it. Um, that's my video. That's how I get ready every day. That's how I do my hair. Um, I would say... <sighs> five out of seven days. Otherwise it's up in a, in a mom bun. That's it. Um, other than that, 
If you guys um, have questions about the products that I use or if you guys use them, let me know how you like them or if you have a recommendation on something that you guys use, definitely let me know. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for joining me um, today and I will see you guys soon. Bye.